Hello, what up you guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 73. Finger points to the sky for a new episode today. Now apologies, it's not a rewards video. However, I've got so many packs for you today that you should still enjoy it nonetheless. And don't forget, we'll just be excited for red picks tomorrow, right? Uh, can you do me a huge favor at the very start of this episode? And hit me with a huge thumbs up. And I'm not talking about a regular size thumbs up, all right? That's not what we're after. We're after a massive one. 5,000 likes is your target. Go smash that like button. Thank you to those of you that support the series. You honestly do make my day uh, and you make the series as well, which is awesome. So subscribe to the channel as well. If you're new around here, let's get on into it, shall we? So if this is maybe the first video of mine you've watched in like a week, then my, my team has changed. My team has changed and transformed a lot. We now have an icon Sadorf. We now have a Moments Depay. Uh, so we've got a trio up front of Moments Depay, Marcus Rashford MBE, and Blue Neymar. It is, I mean, that's all on an account where I've spent literally zero pounds, dollars, yen, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we start the episode off with my player pick pack where I end up getting a, a Belgium left-sided player from La Liga. As if I needed one of them. I've already got Eden Hazard. But no, we'll definitely take a Marcos Lorente in form. He looks great. Uh, so to take that untradeable, that's a bit of a dub in my opinion. So this is what I was on about when I said I got lots of packs today. I basically put a whole bunch of stuff from my club, like all the rest of it, like I haven't got much left now, into 81 to 87 rated players because I figured they might be good fodder, and then the 82 plus players as well. I decided to stick away from the league specific stuff just because my club was in a state where I didn't have much, like let's, for instance, if you do either league on or let's say you do the Prem upgrade packs, you need six or seven Prem rares in that as well as everything else and i just don't have the players from those leagues the players that i had left were just from off leagues and stuff so we stuck with the uh the ones which gu guarantees us a certain level of player um one these ones are slightly all right for fodder they're not amazing though you can't get 87 uh, above 87 rated um and then two the 82 plus that gets rid of a lot of rubbish so, yes, there are still a lot of 82s and 83s that you don't necessarily want to get. And you want to get those higher rated players. But still, it's, you know, you get you get rid of all of the 81s and below, right? So, uh, it's, it, you know, you get rid of literally thousands of players that you can no longer pack. Which is uh, good. But anyway, these haven't been the kindest to me yet, if I'm honest. But we get our first board here. We end up getting German striker from Chelsea that's a big big dub that has just paid for all of these packs right there Timo Werner a 100,000 coin player on the RTG I mean I don't know I mean like I've mentioned to you before he is my kryptonite maybe he'll be good for me maybe we need to put him on the subs bench and have a uh, one of the, the the best super subs of dreams on this game uh, and then the next pack we end up getting Dutch centre mid from Man U. I was just hoping that was going to say Liverpool because we could have got a little genie back in our club after we submitted him in yesterday's episode um, <clears throat> in order to get Memphis. And then uh, yeah, no boards in this pack right here. There are so many packs that I do forget exactly what we've got. Bear with me. You'll watch them as we watch them and uh, and enjoy. But I do seem to recall that some of these packs were not the kindest to me. Um, we get boards in this one. It's going to be Mexican right mid from Porto, which is the name of the horrible pandemic that we've had this year. So the less said about that name, the better. Might even demonetize me, so we won't say that. But anyway, moving on to the next pack. Uh, no boards from this one. Who's it going to be? I reckon a Spaniard. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it actually is. Javi Martinez. I couldn't remember who it was. And uh, it's always a Spaniard, isn't it? Uh, when you're opening packs. So the next one, finally, again. No, uh, no boards this time. It's a Dutch right winger. Berghui? Berghuis? Berg... Uh, I don't know. Berghui, I reckon, is how you probably pronounce it. Uh, and then the next pack, again... No boards. 82 rated this time. It is Jerome Boateng. Uh, we are now officially onto the 82 plus rated player packs. So we can't get anything lower than an 82. So 
Let's start getting 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, and higher. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But no, pack number two from this one is going to be Arnautovic. Uh, or was this the first pack? I can't remember. Uh, we got Arnautovic from that one, so an 82 there. And the next pack we end up getting, oh no, no boards again. We're getting another 82. This time it is going to be... Aaron Ramsey from Juventus or Piemonte Calcio. Uh, and then the next pack. Can we get boards or a walkout? Oh, no. It is literally four packs in a row. We end up getting ourselves 82. We get Ruben Neves this time in Portuguese from Wolves, who have lots of Portuguese players, of course, don't they? Uh, can we get boards or a walkout? Yes, we can finally get boards. Oh, no. It's going to be Spanish goalkeeper from Roma, isn't it? Is of course... Going to be Paul Lopez. I swear I always get Paul Lopez. Um, him or Itor, man. And that is actually a duplicate untradeable. So the first board we get from the 82 plus is unfortunately a, uh, a dupe untradeable. But we do get boards in the next one. We get Brazilian centre-back from Paris Saint-Germain, which is going to be Marquinhos. Now that is actually a bit of a dub because he's... One of the better centre backs in in League One, and I just feel like maybe at some point I might need that. So I, I actually consider that one a dub. And we stick on a theme of getting some boards. There's three packs with boards in a row. We get Argentine left back from Sevilla, which is going to be Acuna, 83 overall. Nice, well-rounded card, but definitely SBC fodder, I would say, on this game. Unless you're going to bring him on as a sub-centre mid, then he'd do a good job there. Four boards in a row. Things are starting to heat up. Can we get anything from this? Brazilian left back from Man United. Oh, we've already got Tellers. Luckily, we submitted this gold one into uh, Memphis's SBC the other day. Because otherwise, that would have been another duplicate untradeable. But of course, we do have the blue one in our club that we actually use in our main team. And then to get five boards in a row, we end up getting German centre-back from Bayern. It can't be Jerome Berteng, so it has to be Niklas Sule. 84 overall. I mean, that will be... A fairly useful SBC fodder player as well. What sort of pace does he have? He's got 69 pace. Moving on then to the next pack. We end up getting no boards in what I think is our final pack right here. We end up getting a little Marco Asensio, an 82 rated Real Madrid player. Uh, and that was, the, uh, that was all of the upgrade packs that I did. I probably could have... Got a couple of more out of the out of the club, but you know what? We need to save some things for like marquee matchups and stuff. I mean, that's going to be a struggle this week, I think. Um, so yeah, the team the team is looking really good. We've now got a Timo Werner as well, which is great for a first owner prem striker. Now I offload a bunch of stuff in the club, including my goalkeeper, because I had a little thought, and that thought was. I think I'm going to regret not doing the Alessandrini SBC. I got a feeling that he might be this year's like Ryan Kent or something. So we're going to do him and it is going to spend the rest of our coins. And I needed to gut the club a little bit to even be able to afford him. I just feel, you know how sometimes you just get a feeling for an SBC player that you're just like, if I don't get this... I've messed up. I just get that feeling of Alessandrini. I don't know in the future if he's going to be, if it's going to be a waste. You know, it's cost me 100,000 coins to do this SBC. But we can rebuild again. Don't you worry about that. You know, by Thursday, we'll have 30,000 coins again. Uh, we'll have two more red picks, a whole bunch of packs. You never know what we're going to end up packing. Um, and we've still got over a million coins sat in the players in our club. So... Don't you even worry about it. But yeah, there's everything that's sold. And I use the coins, obviously, to buy those players. I'm still one player short. I needed something to sell here. And I ended up gutting my club even further of contracts and anything that I had left to get up to about 20k so that I could buy myself a uh, Sommer, which was the final player I needed. Uh, I tried to put my Marquinhos in there, but he was too low rated. And as you can see, I've ended up just buying every single player for this uh, SBC. And leaving those fodder players that we got, the Sula, the Marquinhos, the stuff like that, just in our club. It means that we actually do have a little bit of entry-level fodder should another SBC come out in the next couple of weeks. Um, so welcome to the club, Roman Alessandrini, uh, who looks to be a great player. This might be the actual super sub of dreams. Uh, we just mentioned that about Timo Werner, but this right here 
Could be, I mean, he's French. He's in the Chinese Super League, of which we have Taliska and stuff. You just never know when things might just line up right, all right? He looks good. Four-star, four-star. 92 pace, 87 dribbling, 85 shooting, 82 passing. He's always been one of those, like, OP players on FIFA for the last few years. So, um... Yeah, whenever EA give him a special card, you kind of need to take note. 97 agility, 90 balance. That's what made me feel like maybe he could be a little bit Ryan Kent-like. And just feel really quick and stuff on this game. So that's why we did him. And again, it was an SBC that I wanted to do. Uh, but we are now very, very, very poor. Unless we sell our big players, which I don't intend to do. Uh, so I complete my 100th SBC, unlocking myself some pitch trophies. Cool. Uh, and we put Nick Pope in goal because that's what we've got left now. Uh, we, we don't have Loris. I, I could get the funds to get someone like Loris or De Gea in net if I wanted to. But I think Nick Pope, everyone seems to rate him. So I'll just go with him for now. Uh, I don't, like I said to you so many times, I don't really rate goalkeepers on this game. So I will literally just go with whatever I've got. Uh, and Florenzi and Goretzka didn't sell. They can head back to the club. Uh, and I think there was also a couple of players at the end which didn't sell that I tried to get gone as well so they can head back to the club as well uh and as you can see we're already at about 7k we'll make that six and a half um and we could buy another goalkeeper should we really want to especially after rewards as well we'll have another thirty thousand coins uh we can welcome back pretty much any of the prem goalkeepers at that point in time of which who would you get if you had a choice of any prem goalkeeper who would you actually pick up let me know down below so we got two games of rivals left. I figured what I would do is just play them out and see if we can maybe get into rank two. I don't know if we even got in there, whether it would stick and whether we would keep enough points. But I guess you'll see tomorrow in rewards, right? So we come up against a weird Serie A team that I was not expecting. And he had a silver up front. And I'm just like, why am I facing this in Division 1? But I'll take it. Uh, and we hit him with a nice goal actually off of kickoff to begin with. But he was a solid player. I mean, he's in Division 1. He's going to be have some sort of skill level, right? So uh, I just figured I would probably end up losing this game because he's so good that he decides to nerf himself by giving himself a slightly less good team. Uh, and that's exactly what sort of happened here. Well, after he turned the game around anyway to make it 2-1 after I'd gone 1-0 up. But um, that's not all she wrote, you know. We've got plenty of time left. Such a good bridge there from Neymar. Uh, it just absolutely kippered the defender. That was uh, that was exactly what you want. We sent him for a hot dog, as, uh, as we do like to say. And then, I mean, just before half time, I end up getting one good save out of Nick Pope. Uh, and then, unfortunately, Kessier is going to just smash that one home into the back of the net. Anyway, 3-2 down. We get a kickoff goal here with Rashford. Uh, solid strike from the Englishman, actually. Really nice goal. Uh, but, yeah, kickoff goal nonetheless. So, I feel fairly lucky that we got that one. And I'm getting dominated 60-40 in terms of possession. But it's three all at half time. So, at least we're going to get some sort of points from this game. Second half, I decide, you know what, we're going to bring Rashford off for a little bit, put Alessandrini and Depay up front, and then Neymar at Cam. And let's see if this Alessandrini is any good, right? So, into the second half we go. Neymar into Memphis. Memphis is going to spot a little Allen. Allen back to Memphis. Into Alessandrini. Oh, no, it's Bruno Fernandes who scores the goal. I forgot which colour Alessandrini's boots were there for a minute. This is him. He's got the white boots, hasn't he? I hit one shot over the bar, but quite a nice way to like get the ball out of his feet and stuff. It looked all right. Memphis then gets through. He's got Koulibaly to deal with. Somehow he warps through him, and I do end up going 5-3 up. So this game is looking like it is going to go in my favour. And then Allen into Neymar. Neymar is just going to hold this ball up. See Alessandrini. 1-2 with Memphis and I'm through with the Frenchman. He tries to wipe me out but I keep my calm. The pace was good enough. He gets through 1-1 one -on -one and scores the easy finesse at the near post. And it's going to force a little rage quit from my opponent. So that right there is something I've not experienced in Rivals for a while. A full max points rage quit. Excellent stuff. Uh, so that is actually going to bring us into rank 2. And quite considerably further into it than I thought. We might actually secure it, you know, boys. Um, but don't forget that when I was playing this, it was it was earlier in the week. It was Monday or Tuesday, something like that. So there was still plenty of time for, uh, for, for, for the scores to catch up. But this is my final game of Rivals for the week. And I come up against uh, Son, CR7, 
Salah, uh, just an overall nice team that I should be worried about. But Memphis hits him with the bridge and a lovely finesse shot. Oh, I really like this card already and I'm so glad I did the SBC for him. I'm sure you guys have started using that bridge dribble into your, uh, into your, putting it into your arsenal, right? Because mentioned it so much lately because it's so OP uh, and then Neymar does it again to him right there and I think it annoyed him because at 2-0 41 minutes on the clock he decides that he is out of there so unfortunately we don't get like max points but we do get a 2-0 victory um, with a rage quit so I don't think the rage quit adds any extra points on there but we beat someone with 2000 skill rate in there and we're on our way back up to that we're at 1985 again now so uh, things are looking all right but as you can see we are over halfway into rank two i don't think that that's going to catch up enough and you'll know obviously by now you're watching this on thursday so you'll know if i whether or not i finished in rank two or not uh if we do we do if we don't we don't it's as simple as that really uh i get a little rare gold pack from finishing level i think 17 it was in the uh uh seasonal objectives can we get anything from this little 25k pack another pack for this video uh no boards no walkout damn it season objective packs for me i think this time around have been pretty poor i don't recall getting anyone amazing Maybe we did. I can't remember. But um, we'll take a shadow. We'll take the France away kit and a little extra pack as well there, uh, which we can open just now. It's just another gold pack. You don't ever expect much from these. But re weirdly, you open these packs and they're tradable, but they come from an untradable pack. Don't expect it, do you? But uh, yeah, you know what? I'll absolutely take it because uh, it's just a couple thousand coins extra worth of fodder should we ever need to sell it for anything. I can get rid of the contracts or I'll stick them in the club for now and sell the duplicates on. So yeah, that is going to be the end of the episode, boys and girls. Do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. 5,000 likes is your target. Uh, so keep showing that support. Thank you very much for that. And of course, subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here. I am loving Seydorf. I'm loving Depay. I'm loving Rashford and Neymar. My team is feeling and looking good. Um, four goals, six assists in, in, in rivals so far for Depay at Cam. That's a good, that's that's good. That's really good. Looking forward to playing the weekend league with him. Don't forget, rewards coming tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and you can, of course, follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Take it easy, everyone. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying healthy. I think we're officially like out of lockdown now, so uh, still take care and all of that. But yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow with some rewards. Peace. <laughs>